Yahuchanan, John 19. Then Pilate therefore took Yahusha and scourged him, and the soldiers plaited a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put on him a purple robe and said, Hail, King of the Yahudim! And they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and said unto him, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that you may know that I find no fault in him. Then came Yahusha forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate said unto them, Behold the man! When the chief priests therefore and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said unto them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Yahudim answered him, We have a Torah, and by our Torah he ought to die, because he made himself the son of Elohim. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid, and went again into the judgment hall, and said unto Yahusha, Whence are you? But Yahusha gave him no answer. Then said Pilate unto him, Speak you not unto me? Know you not that I have power to crucify you, and have power to release you? Yahusha answered, You could have no power at all against me, except it were given you from above. Therefore he that delivered me unto you has the greater sin. And from thenceforth Pilate sought to release him. But the Yahudim cried out, saying, If you let this man go, you are not Kekha's friend. Whosoever makes himself a king speaks against Kekhar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Yahusha forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Ivrit, Gabatha. And it was the preparation of the Pikach, and about the sixth hour. And he said unto the Yahudim, Behold your king! But they cried out, Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! Pilate said unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Kekar. Then delivered he him therefore unto them, to be crucified. And they took Yahusha and led him away. And he, bearing his pole, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Ivrit, Gulgaleth, where they crucified him, and two other with him, on either side, and Yahusha in the midst. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the pole, and the writing was, Yahusha the Netzari, and King of the Yahudim. This title then read many of the Yahudim, for the place where Yahusha was crucified was nigh to the city, and it was written in Ivrit, and Yavani, and Latin. Then said the chief priests of the Yahudim to Pilate, Write not, and King of the Yahudim, but that he said, I am king of the Yahudim. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Yahusha, took his garments and made four parts, to every soldier a part, and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. They said therefore among themselves, Let us not rend it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which says, They parted my raiment among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things, therefore, the soldiers did. Now, therefore, rather, now there stood by the pole of Yahusha his mother and his mother's sister, Miriam, the woman of Achav, and Miriam of Migdal, When Yahusha therefore saw his mother and the Talmudi standing by, whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold your son. 
Then said he to the Talmudi, Behold your mother! And from that hour that Talmudi took her unto his own home. After this, Yahusha, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now there was a set, rather, there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it upon hyssop, and put it to his mouth. When Yahusha therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head, and gave up his ruach. The Yahudim, therefore, because it was the preparation that the bodies should not remain upon the pole on the Shabbat, for that Shabbat was a high day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers and broke the legs of the first and of the other which was crucified with him. But when they came to Yahusha and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. And he that saw it bore record, and his record is true. And he knows that he says, True, that ye might believe. For these things were done, that the scripture should be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. And again another scripture says, they shall look upon they shall rather they shall look on him at whom they pierced and after this yosef of rama being a talmudi of yahusha but secretly for fear of the yahudim besought pilate that he might take away the body of yahusha and pilate gave him leave he came therefore and took the body of yahusha and there came also nicodem man which at the first came to Yahusha by night and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound weight. Then they, rather, then took they the body of Yahusha and wound it in linen clothes with spices, as the manner of the Yahudim is to bury. Now, in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new sepulchre, wherein was never man laid, rather yet laid. There laid they Yahusha, therefore, because of the Yahudim's preparation day, for the sepulchre was nigh at hand.